My name is Mona and I'm a Harlequin Beads and Jewelry and today I'm going to show you how to use a cone on the end of your multi-stranded necklace. Although people use cones for lots of things, I'm just today I'm going to show you how to use it on multi-strands of chain. You can use it on chain, you could use it on multi-strands of seed beads or other kinds of beads or, I mean it's endless. Um, people use them for feather earrings to hide the tops. I kind of think of them as a party hat to hide a bad hair day. They really do hide all of the ugly ends of your necklace. Cones come in all different sizes and shapes and some of them are very ornate and some of them are very plain. It just, and so all different um, circular sizes. You want to make sure that whatever you're doing kind of fits inside there, but not, it doesn't have to fit all the way up in there just so it hides it really nicely, the ends. Other than that, there is, there's no rules to what kind of cone you're going to use, just as long as it fits your fancy. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a wire twisted loop. All of these start out that way and you can refer to our video online um, about a simple wire twisted loop. Make sure it's nice and centered and before I start wrapping the wire twist around I'm going to feed these pieces of chain onto my um, wire twisted loop so that I can fit them up inside the cone. Now that I've fed all the pieces of chain onto my wire twisted loop, I'm going to close my loop off by coiling around. Then I'm going to put my coat on. See how cool that is? The cone just covers all that up. Now I'm going to do another wire twisted loop on the other side of the cone. And feed my clasp on. Now we're going to attach the cone to the other end, except instead of putting a clasp on, we're going to put a loop on so that we can attach the clasp. So I attached the other cone and the loop and we're finished.